Welcome to the Wednesday evening devotion time here at New Baptist Church. I'm Robin Crouch, one of the st staff pastors here at New Baptist, and it's my privilege to spend this time with you. Andre Crouch, no relation by the way, uh, except he is my brother in Christ, uh, wrote a song I heard while probably first, maybe I was in college or shortly after that, but it has stayed fresh in my mind in my heart today as if that was the day I first heard it. Do you remember the song? Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Those lyrics come right from the scripture uh, for this evening. But what I want you to do is a little different tonight. Uh, I'm not going to expound a lot on this passage. What I want you to do is to allow this scripture simply to wash over you. I want you to allow this scripture, this word of God to envelop you. For right now, all I want you to do is simply to listen. Hear God's word for you. The psalmist writes these words. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy? Who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, he flourishes like a flower of the field, for the wind passes over it and is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to the children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O oh, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, obey the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. Now, open your copy of God's word to Psalm 103. That's what I just read. David writes this psalm, and it's for you, and it's for me. You've already experienced it as we just read it together. Did your heart sing when you heard those promises, when you remembered God's blessings? Did praise rise up in your heart? Did it just come up when you heard those things? I must admit to you that when I read this psalm, when I think of this psalm, I'm always drawn to verses 8 through 13. Remember what it said? The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sin, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, 
So far does he remove our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. I pray that as we read this psalm together, as you sat and allowed it to wash over you, to envelop you, that your heart broke out in praise and that you are now in your heart or maybe out loud singing, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Pray with me. Our Father, I give you thanks. I thank you for your word. I thank you that it always refreshes us, that it draws us to you, that it shows us your great love and compassion for us. And, oh God, that tonight as we uh, were reminded again from the psalm of all that you have done for us, the promise you have made to us, the fact, Lord, that, that your steadfast love is greater than anything we can imagine, that you do not treat us according uh, and deal with us according to our sin and iniquity, but that you remove our transgressions as far from us as the east is from the west, and that you love us, that you love those who walk according to your will. Oh, God, let us know that today, and let our hearts break forth in praise, because we will bless the Lord with all our soul and with everything within us. We will bless your holy name. Amen. Well, thank you. Have a good evening.